Today's project is a throwing noodle bowl. There are two characteristic points for this bowl. The first one is the folded rim. The second one is the spiral mark. When I make a noodle bowl, most of the time I use these two techniques. The folded rim gives extra strength to the edge, which is the weakest part of the bowl. The spiral mark gives a unique organic impression and also has a practical reason as it helps to catch noodles with the chopsticks. I am using 2 kg sanded buff stoneware clay. Centering for 18 cm diameter. Open the center with the right middle finger. The left middle finger gives extra support on top of it. Leave the bottom about 2 cm thick. Then I slowly pull my middle finger towards me across the bottom. When the clay starts to climb up the wall, you need to press it down back to the main clay body. The left hand has to support the wall to keep the original diameter. Compress the bottom with your finger. Then compress it again with a wooden tool. First of all, I make a cylinder. I need to stretch the wall straight up until it becomes 15 centimeter high. Giving good pressure to the bottom outside, I need to bring this part of the clay up. I interlock both thumbs so my hands become one tool. It is important and a very useful technique. Pull up your interlocked hand at the same speed and the same pressure to the top. When I reach the top, I will slow down at the edge. Both sides of my fingers are the same height here, not offset. I remove the ridges on the clay surface with a wooden tool. The wooden tool smooths the surface of the clay and doesn't scrape the clay too much. Putting the wall up to 15 cm height, I 
then I turn the edge to fold it. Be careful not to trap the air in the fold. This fold makes the rim stronger. It also has an aesthetic purpose. The plump rim matches well with a spiral decoration, which I will make later. Open the bowl very slowly with Gubera wooden tool. Gubera means ox tongue. The name comes from the looks. The left hand is supporting from the outside. Measuring the size with my stretched hand plus four fingers, which makes 26 centimeter in total. I want 27 centimeter. The ball diameter is slightly bigger than my hand measurement, so it is a good 27 centimeter. Give plenty of water to make a slippery surface. Make a spiral mark from the center first. My left middle finger is inside and my right index and middle fingers are outside. The right fingers are slightly apart, then the left middle finger is placed between them. You need to move both hands slowly together. When you reach the top, stay at the same position until the edge settles down in one circle. If you release your hands too quickly, the rim will not be circular. To stop the wall of the pot from drying too quickly, I cover it with a plastic sheet. Now turning, I make the center hole for the finger rest. 
The left middle finger will stay there easily and it can keep a light pressure to secure the ball. My hand is 9 cm across, which is my standard size of the foot ring for the noodle ball. To take off a chunky corner clay, I use a surform, which is a very useful tool. I use them quite a lot. When I trim a large flat area, I make a circle. Then we move the rest of clay down to the flat. In this way, the resistance is much smaller and it is easy to make the flat surface. I use a very thin wire ribbon tool for the final touch. Take the corner off the foot ring so there is a less chance for chipping and also it is friendly for the hand and the table.